In today's video, top food and drinks na dapat mong iwasan kung gusto mong pumayat this 2021. Let's go! What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, Jacob Alava, and today's video is going to be about the top food and drinks na dapat mong iwasan kung gusto mong pumayat this 2021. Kung bago kayo, my name is Jacob. I'm an IFPA Sports Nutrition Certified Coach, and this channel is mostly about fitness, health, lifestyle, self-development. So kung bago kayo dito, please hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell para ma-update kayo sa mga recent videos natin. So with that being said, let's get to the video. So bago natin pag-usapan yung top food and drinks na dapat natin iwasan kung gusto natin pumayat, kailangan muna maintindihan natin yung fundamentals of weight loss and fat loss. Kung hindi pa kayo familiar, ang pinaka-importante na factor is yung calorie deficit. Kasi if hindi kayo naka-calorie deficit, hindi kayo papayat. Ang ibig sabihin lang ng calorie deficit is you eat below what your body needs. So for example, may maintenance calories tayo, each individual, lahat tayo, kailangan kumain ka below that. So, even if you eat a little bit of these food or drinks na pag-uusapan ko, okay lang yun. Kasi ako personally, in-incorporate ko pa rin naman tong mga pagkain na to sa diet ko once in a while. So, for the first food type on our list, ito yung mga sugary desserts and yung mga sweets. I know guys, ito yung mga favorite natin kasi ito yung mga masasarap. Pero you have to take into consideration na mataas ang calories ng mga to. Usually, yung mga sweet desserts mataas sa sugar. So mataas ang carbs, tsaka may mga fat din yan. Lalo na yung mga buttery pastries natin, yung mga cakes, chocolates, all these things, usually mataas sa calories niya. Yung problema rin with sweets is, the more that you eat sweets, the more na magkikrave ka ng sweets. So what happens is, when you eat a little bit, you will crave for more to the point na mapupunta kayo sa calorie surplus. Which, in turn, does not let you lose weight. And to be honest guys, if isipin nyo, hindi naman talaga natin kailangan ang desserts. So for some healthier alternatives for these desserts and sweets, okay na palitan natin sila with fruits. Sobrang daming fruits out there. And again, as long as hindi mo i-overconsume, it's gonna be much better than all these sugary desserts and sweets. So for food type number two, ito yung mga deep fried na pagkain. So tayo mga Pilipino, mahilig talaga tayo sa deep fried. So yung mga crispy pata, yung mga fried chicken, kahit nga yung bangus, di ba, din deep fry. Even french fries. Ang french fries, potato na din deep fry. Yung problema kasi pag din deep fry nyo yung pagkain nyo guys, is you are using a lot of fat, aka oil. So pag din deep fry siya, extra yung calories na nadadagdag dun. So for example, kung nagluluto ka na ng chicken, chicken in itself has a little bit of fat, tapos din deep fry mo pa siya, tapos kakainin mo pa yung balat, mataas talaga yung calories nun guys. As much as I don't like to say that, kasi ako mahilig rin naman ako sa mga fried food, yung mga fried food talaga will hinder our progress. So ano yung mga alternatives mo instead of deep frying? What you can do is you can pan fry, use a little bit of oil, you can grill, you can steam, use a different way of cooking. One good method of cooking healthier food yung nakikita ko online is using an air fryer. Kasi yung air fryer guys, wala kang oil na ginagamit doon. So pag magluto ka ng meat doon, magluto ka ng potatoes, ang dami mong pwedeng gawin doon without the extra calories, without the extra fat. So for the third food type, yan yung mga fattier cuts of meat mo and yung mga fattier fish mo. So ano tong mga to? Ito yung mga dark meat mo sa chicken, tapos you have your red meat, tapos you have your pork, yung liempo, pork belly, tuna belly. Yan kasi yung mga favorite nating mga Pinoy. So yan yung mga lagi nating kinakain, di ba? And these aren't necessarily the best for losing weight kasi mas mataas yung fat content nila compared to some of their healthier alternatives. Swap out your dark meat sa chicken for some chicken breast. Tapos for your beef and your pork, instead of using the belly, opt for beef tenderloin, pork tenderloin, kasi mas mababa yung fat content nito. Also with your fish, focus on tuna, and let's say if kumakain kayo ng mga bangus, ganyan, skip out nyo na yung belly. Guys, itong mga small tweaks na to, malaking bagay to in the long run. 
Kasi yung fat content at yung calorie content ng kinokonsume mo, mas mababa. At saka, mas marami kayong makakain kasi nga, mas konti yung fat. So, the more calories that you are able to eat, the more you can trick your body na busog na siya. Food type number four, the saucy food or yung mga masasarsa. Guilty rin ako dyan kasi as a Filipino, mahilig talaga tayo sa mga saucy, masasarsang pagkain. Yung mga kare-kare, adobo, basta yung mga masarsa. Mahilig tayo sa masarsa na pagkain. Yung problema sa mga sarsa ngayon, guys, is let's say for example, ang kare-kare, marami na siyang ingredients na nakahalo dun sa sauce alone. Tapos, let's say, kung hindi pa lean yung cut ng meat or let's say, hindi lean beef yung ginamit mo, tataas yung fat nyo. Mag-a-accumulate talaga yung fat tsaka yung calorie content nun altogether. So, isipin mo, yung sauce mo, mataas na yung calories nun, yung meat mo, mataas pa yung calories nun, tapos dadamihan mo pa yung kanin mo. Diba? And that's a recipe for weight gain. Sad reality kasi guys, yung mga Filipino food natin, saucy, hindi sila necessarily the best for dieting. So, alternatives for our saucier foods, pwede natin gamitin ang mga salt and pepper, different herbs and spices. Guys, masarap tong mga to at saka walang calories tong mga to halos. But syempre, yung mga salt mo, you have to use that in moderation. Hindi rin siya ganun ka-healthy kung sobrang alat tong kinahain mo. Pwede ka pa nga rin mag-hot sauce eh. Kasi karamihan sa mga hot sauce, mababa yung calories or zero calorie. So use this to your advantage. Food type number five, yung mga processed food natin. So ano to, ito yung mga usually pre-packaged, yung mga instant, yung mga chips natin, yung mga sweets natin. The problem with these, usually mas mataas yung mga calories nila. And they're not the healthiest. Kasi marami rin sa mga to, such as yung mga instant noodles mo, packed na nga sila with calories, marami pa silang sodium. So not always the healthiest. May mga lower calorie processed food din, such as yung mga canned tuna mo, mga canned sardines mo, pero everything pa rin in moderation. So, ano ang alternatives mo sa mga processed food? For snacking, let's say, again, you can focus more on yung mga fruits, the healthier options, some nuts. Tapos, focus more on the whole foods. So, mas maganda kung nabibili mo talaga yung linear cuts of meat mo and yung mga fish mo rather than puro processed yung kinakain mo. Food type number six, yung mga fast food. Okay, favorite nating lahat halos. Pati ako, guilty ako dyan. Ang fast food kasi guys, kaya siya tinatawag na fast food kasi on the go, pag hindi ka nakapag-prepare, kakainin mo lang siya kagad. Ang problema sa mga fast food guys, matataas ang calories nito and they're mostly carbs and fat. Kasi in a way, masarap pa rin naman sila, di ba? Guilty pleasure ko rin yung mga yan. Ang ginagawa ko, ini-incorporate ko siya sa calories and macros ko. The problem with a lot of people kasi, pag sobrang busy and hindi sila nagpe-prepare ng meals, hindi sila kumakaya ng mga whole foods, they resort to fast food kasi convenient, quick, and easy. So instead of eating fast food all the time, you have to really prepare your food. You have to buy your whole foods. You have to buy sa palengke. You really have to meal prep and you really have to plan out your groceries. Food type number seven, yung mga oily food natin. Yung mga oily food kasi guys, mataas sa fat yan. Oil is fat. So fat, 9 calories per gram yan. So mas mataas yan compared to your protein and your carbs. Marami akong na-encounter ng mga tao, sasabihin nila healthy naman ako kumain. Pero hindi nila alam na ang dami pala nilang oil na ginagamit. Kahit na healthy oil pa yan, olive oil, or whatever healthy oil yan, pag ma-overconsume mo pa rin ang oil, it's still gonna add up. Yan yung pinaka-common na nakikita kong problema. Sabihin nila, ah, nag-salad lang naman ako. Nag-chicken breast naman ako. Lean naman yung cut ng meat ko. Pero hindi nila pinafactor in yung oil na ginamit nila. Lalo na when you're cooking sauces and other recipes, you have to factor in oil, guys. Kasi silent killer yung oil. So, ano ang alternatives natin for oil? Pwede mong ibahin yung method of cooking mo. Pwede kang mag-ihaw, pwede kang mag-pan fry, pwede ka rin mag-air fry, and pwede kang mag-steam. Itong mga small tweaks na to, malaking bagay na to sa overall progress nyo. So, for the next types, drinks naman tong mga to. And the first drink type, yan yung sugary drinks natin. So ano tong mga to? Basic fruit juices, yung mga sodas, energy drinks, mga milk tea. I know, favorite natin ang milk tea. Pero ang milk tea kasi mataas ang sugar, so mataas ang carbs niyan, tapos kung ano pang ilalagay mo mataas ang fat na. So, para sa akin, ito ang number one na dapat mong iwasan, ang calorific drinks, even let's say yung mga sugary coffees or mga 3-in-1. Avoid nyo na yan kasi mataas ang calories kaagad nito. Wala pa nga yung 
food mo, drink pa lang yan. Try nyo sa weight loss journey nyo this 2021, i-cut out nyo yung mga sugary drinks nyo, tapos focus more on other alternatives such as drink more water and yung mga zero calorie drinks and yung mga black coffee instead of your normal sugary coffee. Guys, trust me, malaking bagay na magagawa yun sa katawan nyo. Drink type number two, yung mga sugary or high calorie alcoholic drinks. So ano to mga to usually? Yung mga beer. Yun yung masarap. Ako guys, personally, beer lover ako. Gusto ko rin talaga yung mga malalasang beer. Pero ang taas sa calories nun. Mahilig rin ako minsan. Mga cocktails. ba? Diba? Yung problema sa cocktails is marami na siyang sugar tapos marami pa siyang calories. So ang pwede nating alternative for alcohol is simple. You just have in moderation a glass of wine, a glass of whiskey, and yung light beer. Yung San Miguel Light kasi 100 calories lang yun. So yun yung go-to ko kapag gusto kong uminom. Pero at the end of the day, kailangan ipapasok mo pa rin siya sa calories. So, ayun yung mga top food para sa akin na dapat nating iwasan or i-limit kung gusto natin mag-lose talaga ng weight this 2021. I'm not saying na masama itong mga pagkain na to, pero kailangan lang talaga natin silang kainin in moderation. Kasi ako personally, how I manage to stay fit all year round is that I incorporate these food in my calorie and macronutrient intake. So, as long as it stays there and hindi ako nag-overconsume, hindi ako masyadong mag-gain. Ng weight. With that being said, good luck because alam ko marami ang nagtatry mag-lose ng weight this 2021 and yun yung mga New Year's resolution nila. So sana nakatulong tong video na to and if nakatulong siya, please hit that subscribe button and click yung notification bell guys kasi yung notification bell will update you on my new video. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.